As niggas was starting to come back around the puff. Like, you know what? We're not tearing down our black uh, leaders and uh, black entertainers, black, you know what I'm saying? Icons, ah, 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 like, then niggas seen the nigga dragging and now niggas like, all right, we really done. You know what I mean? Like, we can't defend this. Like, before Somebody's going like, to back out and defend him again. What? Like, yo, what, what did she do? I see one nigga in the comment, like, what did she do? What somebody, did she I see somebody in the comments say, yo, she must have been stealing. Must've I was been... <laughs> like, yo, what? <laughs> niggas is crazy. <laughs> yo. Come up. Come up, bro. Don't look. I got to sit up. <laughs> Yo, yo, she wasn't even stealing. Yo, it's fucking <laughs> insane. Yo, excuse me. Yo, 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 we back, we back, another joint, man, in the building once again, episode one hundred and fifty-seven. We're all set. Yeah, you know I mean, your boy Rich is here. I got my brother here. Free here. Hello. Talk to me nice. We're shaking free. There's a lot going on. I, first of all, check out the show in your mug, my nigga. Fuck huh? About. Show him the mug. Show him the mug. Oh, yeah. You know how we do. Mugs is out. Mugs is Different out. Flavors is flavors out. Flavors is out. White, bro, got the black joint. Black shit really retarded. You know what I mean? Yeah, black shit. The black shit been going crazy in the street. Black shit retarded. It went um, double, double platinum in the, on the block for sure. T-shirts, crew necks, hoodies is available. The yeah. classic joints. I know y'all been waiting. I designed some heat. Rich to tell you, I got heat styles. What we gonna do with the heat? There's like certain joints that I designed, and do you know what I mean? Certain well set joints. They gonna be like a limited drop, so you only gonna be able to get them for a certain time period. Then it's over with. Then we gonna give y'all another style. So it's like. Our shit gonna really be like you not gonna see too many niggas with your shit because it's not just gonna always be readily available. Like when you drop it, you get it. If you don't get it, I don't know what to tell you. I got mm -hmm. a fire joint coming. Stay tuned for that. But as of right now, classic hoodies, crew necks, t-shirts is available, black, white, and we got the flavors in the coffee mug. So you already know what's up. Well, the good, we come good affordable cotton joints, yeah. printed joints. Then the we coming, we coming good, good material on the on the limited edition shit. You know what I mean? Embroidery, all that good shit. It's going to be all right. It's going to definitely be all right. Man. Let's get into it. It's been a little while since y'all heard from us, seen us. You know what I mean? Since we blessed y'all screen. Breaking news. Footage of your cousin, Puffy. Release. Wilding on Cassie. It's egregious. It's gross. No. It looks nasty work. He's cooked. Um, You know... Diddy still got his comments open on his page. Like, yeah, holla at me. I'm out here doing what I want to do. <laughs> like, is that like a four but like, I really don't give a fuck? Oh, at first I thought it was, maybe there's nothing, they don't got too much evidence on me. I paid it off, it'll go away. But now it's just like, it's almost like, yeah, SMD, I don't care. I mean, I, I don't think it's I don't care. I think it's I think it's complete defiance. Super, I'm super rich and like, I think it's- Yeah, I gotta hold it down. Yeah, I can't defeat me. Yeah. But I feel like, I think he's still going plausible deniability. Like, yo, that wasn't me. It's grainy footage. <laughs> nah, it's it's his uh, whole uh, man. Ribs, it's, it's her. I seen like they got the footage of when she like was making a call. It's like clearly Cassie. Like I was thinking that too. Like it's kind of grainy, but yeah. nah. When they got close to her and then like the way he was saying, like you could tell that's Puff B. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like I. You've oh, been there. Like you might have been close to that before. You might have ran down after a bitch. You might have grabbed up. But when he went kapayao full, like it was he the kick man, to the face was crazy. The kick was crazy, but the initial he man kapayao to the floor, down to the floor, yeah, nah. was crazy. I'm like, Listen, damn, this nigga I, bugged. I thought he was just gonna rough grab her up. I'm like, ah, I've seen worse. I've done worse. But when he <laughs> went kapayao full <laughs> he man slap to the ground, e Honda, I was like, yo, this is nothing. And it followed it up with the full blown boot. This Fuck nigga, I go you. I go do one better, nigga. I've been chased down the hall by choice before. Yeah, what did you talk about? Of like, course. I've been chased, you know, like, but like you said, it's like once he got like caught up and then like did a wound up and like coofed the shit. That's where he lost it. And then what makes it so egregious is he's doing all this on like the middle of a telly. He got his towel wrapped around him, like he was so intent on getting his shit off that he didn't really give a fuck that the fact that he was probably still hopped out the shower, butt ass paws. And anybody could have walked in the hallway and seen that shit. Yo, B, he was like, bitch, you're not getting away from me. Nah. You're not escaping. Nah. Yo, the nigga, when he man Kapayao, 
booted her to the face, then grabbed, then picked the bitch up like a piece of trash and dragged the bitch back down the hallway. Like, yo, you're he coming back did. home. He definitely what the fuck you did. talking about? Yeah, like, slow your fucking roll. That was crazy. That was crazy. It was. It was, it was, was egregious. It was egregious. That was different. I'm not going to lie. Where does Puff go from here? Like, are they gonna, like? You think criminal charges will be filed? Like, I don't know the statute of limitations on. Nah, I mean, didn't assault? he already hush all that up though? He yeah, already paid I don't up. think he could even. Yeah, I don't even think he like legally. I think that might have been something in that. Like, all right, I'm gonna set this out, but you can't do anything else. Yeah, yeah. So it it's just the public punishment as far as like his legacy and how he's viewed is like really gross now. Yeah, I it's, mean. He's it was bad at first, but now it's just like, damn, like it's really hard to come back from this. Like he's super sully, bro. They putting Kim Porter. They saying Kim Porter's his fault. It's like a lot of shit going on, bro. Yeah. And then, it, and then speaking of which, it was like Puffy's son came out with the diss track, aimed at Fifty Cent. And- They're super sully. The kids <laughs> are dumb sully. Aimed at Fifty Cent and whoever else um, was saying no Diddy. I'm gonna keep it real, B. King Combs. I don't want to hear nothing more from him, yo. No more songs from him, dude. After that, after he's the trash, footage. trash, bro. I like a couple of his joints. I ain't going to say he's trash. I, 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 like, a couple, I, I, so I like, like a couple. I, I like the song with Kodak. I like the song with... Uh, all his best songs Pop are corny Smoke. Bad Boy remakes, though. I mean... Maybe. All his best songs are rehashed Bad Boy bad boy shit from the 90s. And he's absolutely... Go- like, that But that diss record was horrible, my nigga. Like, he's not a good rapper. I mean, I wasn't, it's not, it's no ether, that's for sure. It's like, what's that? It wasn't nothing like Kendrick or Drake, which we're going to get into in a I respect few. the fact that he stood up for his pop, Yeah, though. like, I mean, yeah, that's what I'm going to give him his, his just do. Like, he, yeah, I mean, what do you want him to do? Say, yo, fuck my pops. Like, I'm sure, like, everything he got is from his pops. Yeah, I mean? He just kept making songs for the bitches, man. And just kept it like. stay being a freaky nigga, man. We already know what's up with you. Yeah, because now the diss track is, like, in really bad light. It's like, it couldn't be any worse time with the diss track and then three days later, like, oh, yeah, your, your dad Don't really forget, was wilder. You got your own get off me allegations. You, yeah. The, the the young girl said you a freaky ass nigga too. Apple don't fall from the tree and type. Then, fall from and the tree then type when shit. he, um on the song, he's like, they ran to the wrong house. We got the shit at the next door neighbors. I'm like, why do you say that? Like, what are you trying to, what, like, what's really going on? He swear he's a fake mob boss. But these niggas kill me, bro. Yeah, nah, like, he got to relax. Be like. Your dad had forty million when you was born, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like I'm all for it. Like you could still be a cool nigga, but like enough with the tough Tony shit. Not tough Tony. Yeah, like don't do that. You could be a smooth operator. Yeah. Like I'm cool with that. Yeah, you know I mean, like I'm fly. I got money. Yeah. Talking my shit. Yeah. We all, like that's a lane for you. We'll accept yeah. that. Yeah, you know I mean, and honestly, if you talk some money shit, I I believe you more than a lot of rappers. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's like, oh okay, I could jack that, but. Once you start talking like, yo, we'll slap the shit out of whoever say that and this and that, I don't want to hear that shit, bro. You could have saved that shit for the, you know what I mean? Oh, he got <laughs> to make it 10 times. Dress. He got to make it 10 times worse. Niggas going to be no diddy and all his, everywhere he go now. Everywhere he go. And then, like, <laughs> like you said, like, a nigga might have so much hatred for diddy now, like, he might he might feel the brunt of that shit. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. Like, uh, anywhere p- they can't get the puff and you look you around they're like, gonna, gonna have like, yo, we gonna violate this nigga like yeah. fuck puff we gonna violate him because he closest we're gonna see how tough he really is yeah. you know what i mean but yeah the diss track lead that to the professionals you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i mean like you said like stick to the stick to the to the to the mace like loon for the ladies yeah bars, go you know dance for the whole if you go in like since that was the route you was going anyway you might as well stick to the bad boy formula like you got the blueprint of what it would be like to Man. be like uh, a rap crooner, you know what I mean? Yeah. So just do that, you know what I mean? The diss track, do that for the Kendricks and the Drakes of the world. Speaking of which, Man, it's tweaking. Kendrick Drake, finally, a uh, hundred diss tracks later. <laughs> I mean, it's not that many. You feel yeah, like it was a lot. lot. It was like 10, nine. That's a lot. But you know what? I will say, like when Hov and Nas was going back and forth, like there was a few tracks where they was taking shots at each other, but I think niggas appreciated it more because, like, they were kind of more spread out. You know what I'm saying? Like, there is an effectiveness in spacing out your releases. Like, I've yeah. talked about this before just in terms of, like, how I feel like Jordans and shit have fell off. Like, there was more of an anticipation for Mike's when we was in high school because, like, the cool gray 11s might drop, but then you might have to wait two months for the next heat. You know what I mean? For the lows. Lows might not be coming till August. You know what I mean? So you, you had to – either you got the grades or you didn't. Then it was just like, Jordan was like, yo, fuck it, these niggas gonna buy everything. They just start flooding, and it was like, all right, I've had enough. Yeah. So, you know, same with this. Like, I will say, 
congrats, claps to Kendrick and Drake. You know what I mean? They gave us good music, good bars. And I mean, but after a while, it was like, by the time Drake put out his final diss, the heart, I was like, kind of like, all right, enough is enough. Like, I get it. You know what I mean? Y'all have said what y'all need to say. It's clear that this super scathing disrespect, and let's be clear, calling somebody a pedophile and all that shit and being your wife is pretty scathing. But as far as like, I guess when I say scathing, I guess I mean more like more violent threats, like. Not so much, oh, you got to check in, like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to shoot you in the face. Or, like, I, I, w I need to hear that. You know what I mean? Like, I want to hear, like, some wild ignorant shit from, like, the shit that we grew up on. You know what I mean? Like, for real. You know what I mean? I thought somebody was going to get shot when Jada kissed him a lot and <laughs> Beans and them was beefing. Same thing with Hope and Nas. We just wild more ignorant. Um, But, again, I think Kendrick came out on top. Drake did what he could. But then, you know, it's a different era, too, with the diss tracks because... You got social media, so then it's like niggas is debunking shit, confirming shit. Like first they were saying Drake Drake was making it seem like he playing the false information. Then I seen on Twitter somebody came out and said no, actually his shit did get stolen. I stole it. I gave it to Kendrick. So there's a lot of different layers to rap beefs now that you have to consider. Whereas opposed to when we was coming up, it was like all right, he said this, he said that. Who you think shit was better? Yeah, you know I mean, and then like maybe you gotta, you might get some confirmation on a rumor. Yeah, you know I mean, on a radio interview or something. But this shit is just a lot that come with it now. Yeah, you know I mean, and then it's a lot of unwarranted opinions that I don't want to hear from. And I don't want to sound racist, but it's like people outside the culture commenting on the beef kind of like pissed me off, threw me for a loop. I feel you, son. Where you at with it? Um, shit, I really, I really felt like at this point. It's like you said. It's not really about who said what. It's more so about who got the who who made the biggest joint out of it. You know what I'm saying? Like beef is more so about nowadays. It's not really about who was who was telling the truth. It's more so about who was the most entertaining. Who was the most who who? It's like damn near like a roast. It's like yeah. a it's like it's, it's, it's basically like Jonah. a roast. It's yeah. like a Jonah. It's like yo, who was the funniest nigga? Who made us? Who was the most entertaining? Who was the funniest? Who had who gave us some shit that we could dance to? Who gave us the litty drink? You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick clearly did that. Kendrick mustard really must deep, but really Kendrick was really masterful in his. I'm gonna use the whole. I'm gonna use my my true advantage and my true home turfness. This whole Compton, L.A. blackness gang member shit. I'm gonna use this versus the shit you don't got. Like you pretend you want this, yeah. And I got this, and I'm gonna turn this against you. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm from this, and they're gonna rock with me. Yeah. K mustard. You know what I mean? All that, like you yeah. know what I mean? Like you got you got super West Coast niggas back of them. So then, once you once he went super West Coast dance song, little that kids is going it. crazy to it. Everybody's going crazy to it. It's over for Drake. He's packed up. I told niggas. I'm telling niggas this shit. Look, Drake is no longer cool. Like you can look at the you can look at the money and the spins and all this other shit you want. It's all to the good. He's always gonna have hit songs. He's always gonna be bubbling, but. As far as the culture, as far as what's going on, what's hot, what's new to the kids and all that, Drake is. I can't see Drake ever being seen as cool again. You know what yeah, I'm saying? he not in a cool joint no more. Nah, I, I don't. I don't. I don't see Drake ever being seen as cool, like 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 a lit thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, Drake is now a freaky ass pedophile nigga. You know what I'm saying? Copy that. You know what I mean? Like he's make he make international music and different. You know what I mean? Different type of shit. Kendrick definitely it. won once he tapped in with the L.A. chant anthem. Like, he got a summer anthem out of it. And then, like, you know, I'm all, I'm not even going to sit up here and act like it's some West Coast music I like. Like, I like Snoop and Dre. And that's a super West Coast song. But then when I heard it when I was out, like, it just, it kind of grew on me. Because, you know, anybody could fuck with it. Because, like, not like us could be like, yo, that's, you're not like NBA. Anything, you're not yeah. a black American. You're not, you're not from Atlanta. You're not from New York. That could be anybody. They're not like that. us, and they freaky weird niggas. Yeah, you know I mean, so who don't want to get behind that? Who don't want to get behind? At the end that. of the day, Mustard killed that shit. That beat is undeniable. Like as soon as that shit drop, you you gonna move your feet. Like you can't yeah, help you it. You can't you know help I mean? it. That shit undeniable. Drake didn't give us that. He tried, but it was it, his his shit. His attempts at making a hit out of the dishes sounded mad contrived. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was just like he's clearly attempting to make a hit out of, out this, of this, this song. Yeah, like, I mean, we that's knew what it, it was. Yeah, it didn't it hit felt, the same. It didn't hit the same at all. It didn't. Not Even though it. I like Family Matters, but it's still like it's not. It was nothing compared to the the energy that was coming with Kendrick shit. 
Cause what would what did um Kendrick follow up after Family Matters? What was the shit he had? That Meet the Gram shit. Yeah, Meet or the Gram shit. I was super good on that. To me I like personally. that. I like the beat on that. Honestly, it was like I real mean, dark Alchemist joint. Super. I mean, I get it, bro. You want to be extra evil and all that or whatever that was. <laughs> it was too far for me. Like the whole talk to your talk to the nigga's kid, and he was mad misfires on that too. Like after you just after you just sat there and went out your way to call a man white and you call his son a black man. Like what? And then you like, then you come fake, fake daughter, missing daughter. Like I don't know where that came from. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Then you talk. Looking back was compliments because yeah, of like the misinformation. Yeah, it was mad misfires on that. Then it was like I and I, I don't know. It was a lot for me. Like the whole like I'm talking to your niggas' parents now. It was a lot. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot. Drake had a lot of misfires too. Like AI voice was misfire, crazy misfire. Like yeah, he thought it was gonna be late. And then and then, and then and then to 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 tuck your tail so quick to go from like to go from baiting a nigga where you at like calling then they calling nigga pussy to like two songs later being like yo I know you got a hundred songs I'm over this shit ah, I'm about to go on vacation like yeah, you yeah. got it ah, ah like. You like tucked your tail, mad buns. Like I'm not really respecting that. Yeah, not like us. Pretty much cleared it. It was just like not yeah. like us. Packed them the fuck up. It was you know a pack up. Niggas in LA say they playing that shit nine times a day on the radio. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, niggas look little, little kids are screaming they not like us, bro. Niggas is nine, eight years old screaming yeah, they nine. around like doing crib walking, blood walking. Yeah, to that little shit. babies playing dancing to that shit. It's just one of them joints, bro. Yeah. Must have, I don't know where the fuck must have had that beat hot, yeah, tucked off that. Yeah, that tucked away. You hear me? What? Damn. Uh, but Drake is done, bro. Not done, done, but cool. But as, as far, far as the streets perception, as far as being cool, like like how Meek is done. Okay. Like it's the same type of done. Damn. Like, Meek that make it... far? Cause what Meek, I like. I feel like Meek. It's just like he keep adding to it with his social media exploits. Like. He could have lost that and just been like, you know what, I'm going to just make fire music and keep it cool. But, like, he don't help with being attached to Diddy, saying weirdo, doing on Twitter rants. I ain't going to say weirdo, but, like, the Twitter rants, sometimes, like, they go left. And then, like, some of the shit he posts, like, it just be like, huh? You know what I'm saying? It, like, yeah. throw a nigga off. So, I still like to say, I think Meek didn't help his case by, you know, some of the questionable things he did on Twitter and on social media. I think Meek is trolling at this point. I think he's doing I, I think, think he's he like trolling too. I yeah, think I think he's like, he trolling he too. Anything for attention. Just keep my numbers up. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, I think he troll. I think it's a little bit of a troll. Like, I I don't think he's that, like, delusional or yeah. like, yeah, you know I mean, like, like, fuck I, it, man. I'm going to wear this freaky uh, yeah, ass, yeah, yeah. wear this freaky see through t shirt. Yeah, yeah, because I know they're going to they yeah, talk gonna about something. me for a day. Like, why go freaky t shirt for no reason? You know what I mean? Yeah, and like you said, he really been trending for like the last few weeks just off of just random Weird shit. shit. Weird shit. You know what I'm saying? At, sure, the, sure. at the end of the day, sometimes the numbers is all that matters to these niggas. You feel me? Doesn't matter if you in the news for something good or bad. What matters is that you in the news. You feel me? But as far as like being cool, I think Drake is cooked. Yeah, I mean, I ain't going to say he cooked. Because he still got the black girl still behind him. That shit didn't really... Like, for niggas in the streets, like, me and you, yeah, but, like, Black Joints, which is, like, his core base, the women, they still fucking with him regardless. I was just like, all right, the rapidly rap nigga says some shit. We, like, not like us, but we still fucking with Drake. And uh, I think I that's... Mean, I, I mean, but see, this is the difference. I could see the women, the, the, the Joints getting behind a hot Drake song, but are they fucking with Drake? Like, just me fuck with Drake, throw my panties on the stage when I see Drake? I, I, don't, think... I don't think it's the same. I don't think it's the same, bro. I don't think it's the same for the niggas, but I don't think it made a dent in that woman's opinion. Him being put out, him being, I'm gonna be honest, screaming pedophile, freaky ass nigga, get a steady ass inside, all that shit. You don't think that shit affected the women fan base at all? We'll see That's on the next crazy. album. I think he got too much of a stranglehold on them. You know what I mean? Like it, they'd have to really see it <laughs> to like they had to see him like kissing a 15 year old for them to really be like, all right, we might not fuck with each other. Cause niggas was starting to come back around the puff. Like, you know what? We're not tearing down our black uh, leaders and uh, black entertainers, black, you know what I'm saying? Icons, I, I, I. Like, then niggas seen the nigga dragging and now niggas like, all right, we really done. You know what I mean? Like, we can't defend this. Like, before Somebody's going like, back out and defend them again. What? Like, yo, what, what did she do? I see what nigga in the comment, like, what did she do? What somebody, did she I see somebody in the comment say, yo, she must have been stealing. I was be. <laughs> like, yo, what? <laughs> niggas is crazy. <laughs> Yo, Stop up. <laughs> Stop up, bro. Don't look. I gotta sit up. 
Yo, yo, she wants you to steal it. Yo, it's fucking <laughs> insane. Yo, excuse niggas, me. Yo, niggas is wilding in the comments, bro. Yo, nah, <laughs> bro. Yo, it's not funny because it's uh, it's fucked up. But she must have been stealing is wild and crazy. Yo, chance, that's what they man. were screaming in the comments, bro. Niggas is really like not stopping. Like, yo, we must have an excuse for this nigga, bro. Fuck that. Yo, she was <laughs> she trying to tiptoe out. <laughs> oh, sweet. Now, <laughs> oh my God, what if she was stealing? If I, I ain't gonna lie, if I was nah, in the if crib, she was stealing, then I can't even be mad at her. I ain't gonna hold you. I, if a bitch is like trying to walk off with like a ten or a twenty pack, I might cook your shit. Nah, it's no might. <laughs> it's no might. I'm doing the same as that thing Puff did. I'm dragging your dumb ass back yeah, down the hallway. Money, we'll lock bitch. you in, a, lock you in the spot until you heal up. Fuck <laughs> you talking about. They said that's why Chrissy got her teeth kicked in. She stole 30 from a drug dealer, and he flew right to Miami. Like, hold on, bitch. You thought it was sweet? Who? Chrissy. Remember when the whole shit with Max and Jimmy, and they was, uh, he was like, yeah, you got your fucking teeth kicked in? Like, that was like a confirmed, like, hood story. Like, oh, yeah. She, she beat a nigga for like 20, 30 bands. That nigga flew to Miami, Found kicked her the teeth in, and yeah. he was, she was like, pay for my new teeth and send some bread out. I'm going to FBI with what you really got going on. Oh, type shit. shit. Yeah. Make shit crazy. That's stupid. Hey, why dissing though? Game dissing uh, Rick Ross. Shit. I'm not even touching play on that shit. <laughs> well, I played it. I mean, listen, what we're not going to do is act like game can't rap. Now, I, I always hated the game and I'll never get behind them. What was it? Because because of the constant name drops? What what what, what turned you when off? When did I start hating the game? Um, Because he can rap. We're not going to say he can't rap. I'm not after a game the first nigga. Album, sometime after the first album. I, I think it might have been because he, he, he turned his back on 50. They yeah, might have been I was yeah, I done uh, some of his moves I was always like, all right, I might be they kinda turned me off pause. But I seemed give like him... a disloyal, backstabbing fuck boy nigga that was always thirsty for clout any which way he could get it. I and fifty definitely that, blessed man. him with like consecutive bangers too. Yeah. Like let's be like appreciative. Um, I will say as far as gang go, he can rap, but again, like sometimes this constant name drops would be a lot for me. You know what I mean? But I'll say he's good at picking beats and he can write a good verse good sixteen. Lyrically, I think that would be a good spot, him and Ross, but I don't think Ross is even going to respond to that shit. Well, why am I randomly beefing with you, bro? Who the yeah, fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. It's like he just inserted himself into that. Like, I don't even know what why was that we, about. Why? Yeah, for what reason were we talking about you, son? <laughs> Soldier apologized. Soldier Metro was going at it. Then he, he mentioned his dead mother, which was crazy. Yo, he bro. apologized. Soldier Boy got to chill, bro. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> Like, I don't know if he's just, like, ample cocaine in the mansion. Like, he's just, like, wilding out every time he gets bored. But <laughs> Dude, That nigga go on his rent. That he nigga gotta, get crazy. Yo, what? Because nothing even went on to go to, to to take it to dead moms. Dead moms is crazy. Dead moms. Like, what we did? What, why, how did we get to dead moms? Dead moms is crazy. What? Yeah. I can't, don't even, I can't like, get moms. Yeah, I can't. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> this is just like, all right. So, like, if Metro still wanted to punch you in the face when he saw you, like, he'd oh, have every right. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Metro, apology not accepted. Like, yeah, it's not up accepted. with you. Yeah, like, I got, I got slap dog shit out you. Yeah. Just like, mentioning mama love. What? Like, you're violent. I can't wait till I find, till I get the drop on you somewhere. <laughs> I'm not even going to be around. I'm just going to have some wild big niggas pull up for no reason. You're not going to know what's going on. That's the crazy part about Breach. Don't, I wish, nigga. Let me have a couple of M's. Niggas, my ops would never see me. You'd just be getting touched randomly by random big niggas left and right. You don't even know what happened. Niggas <laughs> like, <laughs> be coming nigga, out the trees. Yeah, yeah, what? If I had an M, any nigga I had smoking would just be randomly getting punched in the face by random niggas. He wouldn't even be knowing where it's coming from. Like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> yeah, crazy. I remember one time that shit happened with um Soldier Boy and... uh. Fab, and then I was with the Brooklyn niggas in the airport, and we seen them, and niggas ran down, and he was, like, so shy. He still had a security there, and we was in the airport, so, like, yeah. I knew niggas wasn't really going to touch upon him, but niggas was, like, ran down, like, see how niggas can get next to yeah. you, like, anything <laughs> can happen, nigga. Like, don't get it fucked up. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. Yeah, you know I mean, like, that shit is wild and crazy, that's how kid. That's you got to do it, B. I'm not, fuck that, B. I'm not doing nothing myself no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> Over it, right? Yeah, What's up, though? Should I get into um drip report? Or should uh, we touch on something else and then go into drip report? Um, oh, you know, we got to touch on before that. We got to, I got to talk to you about this one because this was, was really kind of like throwing me off. So, I don't know if y'all niggas know, school teacher went viral. 
Oh, um, that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> school teacher went viral. In his class, he had some, he had his like, I think they are middle school age students braiding, like unbraiding his hair. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Half, a lot of the people who was up in arms, like it's wild inappropriate. Some of it was even leaning toward like sexually inappropriate. A lot of other people was more so saying like it's unprofessional. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I'm more so in the um, unprofessional crowd. Like, I don't think it was like nothing sexual or nothing egregious. Cause granted, a like he recorded it. It was like six kids around his head, paws unbraiding. So it wasn't like a one-on-one intimate unbraid session. But I do think it's like certain shit just that that's not for the that's not for the classroom. You know what mm. I mean? Like, I get it. You were running late. It helped you with, you know what I'm saying? You wasn't even, you wasn't going to have time to be able to go from work to home to, school, to wherever you had to go to. But, like, I don't know. You just got to plan better. You know what I mean? That's all I can say about that. Yeah. I don't think that the kids should be touching you in any form or fashion. You know what I mean? Like, if a nigga teacher got anything past them, like a, a pat on my shoulder, I feel like you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, unbraiding the hair is a lot. I think it doesn't help that it's opposite sexes. Had it been a woman and the girls were like taking her braids out, I don't think it would have been as much fervor or, or they'd have like people wouldn't have been up in arms about it. But because of the fact that it's like girl or older man, it's just the optics are shaky and like being in the classroom is like, come on, my nigga, like it's a time and a place thing. Yeah. That's what that's where I stand with it. Where you at with it? Definitely unprofessional, but I kind of think that that's the type, not even that necessarily that, the hair branding thing, but you got to kind of like, for a teacher to like ingratiate himself with the kids and for the kids to really like, like feel that connection with the teacher, you kind of got to like drop that wall a little bit, like, and drop the whole professional shit and like do something that makes you more relatable I, I, to the kids. Yeah, I see that side too. You know too. what I'm saying? Be I more human, be more human to the kids, be, you know what I'm saying? So just like it just helps the environment of the classroom sometimes when the when the teach when the kids feel like they fuck with the teacher like on just a human level you know what i'm saying he, he might he probably could have established that a better way than hair braiding you know what i mean saying probably another way to go about it but i felt like that was kind of a way to establish a bond with the kids in the classroom the opposite sex shit does make it weird but like who, i mean little niggas is not about to braid your head out of I, I would definitely not would have jacked that yeah. Y'all had no little niggas braiding your hair. That would have been like, what the fuck are we doing here? What are we doing here? Yeah. You feel me? Like, it, it was really going on. Yeah, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Probably, I, I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't even have recorded this shit. Like, yo, kept that between you and the classroom. Yeah, you might have just kept that one light. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm you saying? Mean? Like, like, you're, right, you're pushing it. Everything don't got to be for the cameras. You yeah. Know what I, mean? I will say, too, piggyback off something you said. I don't remember any teacher's names from high school. And I remember my elementary and a couple from middle school and the ones from middle school that stood out was obviously they were black and then it was this little shit that they would do or how they would speak to a nigga that made them feel more relatable. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. any times I was later fucked up, like I had this one teacher named Mr. Salisbury. And he, like he would like grip my shoulder, like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? But it was <laughs> like a funny grip. Like he'd be like, yo, come here, my nigga. Like it's the lens grip. And then he used to run with that. Like when any like niggas would be doing dumb shit, he'd be like, oh, you want the lens grip? And like, he'd be like, yo, my nigga, like tighten up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, I ain't Mr. So big chill. He'd be like, yo, stop playing. Get the class on time. Yeah, all right. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? And I'll just stuff fuck with him. Like, you know what? He just want the best for niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like he was doing too much, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I still remember his name to the point where, like, I remember he was in Atlanta a few years ago. He reached out to me like, yo, I seen you on Facebook. You doing your thing. So I'm like, oh, what's up, my nigga? But, yeah, it's certain things that I think teachers can do or should do to make them more relatable. You yeah. know what I'm saying? To make the lesson plan, make me, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? Make it, make whatever you're teaching, like, make the words stick with me more. You know what I mean? If I fuck with you, like, your words is going to resonate more with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With whatever you promoting. You exactly. know what I mean? Whereas if it's like, I fucking hate this phony nigga. It's just like in and out, one ear out the other. Exactly. So I get what he was trying to do. But again, like, maybe, yeah, no, not, maybe not record it. You know what I'm saying? Next time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that, I, I mean, I, I, look, 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 like, do I rather, do I rather him sit there and let the girls in the class braid his hair? Or do I rather him teach a lesson plan to, to over, over over by remixing a sexy red song? 
or some shit. I'd rather him get it, let him get his hair braided. Bread. Yeah, because that's a <laughs> skill. Like, young woman, you know what I mean? Doing hair is profitable. You know yeah, what I mean, mean shit, I'm not mad at that's that. That's real, too. You know what I'm saying? They actually learning, learning, yeah, a, yeah, a, learning a, 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 might be learning a future a career skill. A f- low key. Shit, low key. You, you know, know what I mean? Saying? Like, doing hair, they I'd rather that. always need their hair done. Exactly. That's what we do know. I'd rather you know that I mean? than the motherfuckers got they, they got their kids rapping Sexy Red in the classroom. And all oh that other stuff, you know what I'm saying? Please don't use sexy red to teach your kids. Like that's nothing what against been doing. her. That's what they've been doing. But like I, I'd appreciate a different approach. You For know sure. What I mean? Like come on. Over if it's that versus hair braid guy. If it's that if versus it's name braid, braid or sexy red, I'll take name braids. Take braids all day. Yeah, what? I'll take braids all day <laughs> long. <laughs> We we'll get into the drip. Yeah, we gonna get a drip. I'm gonna take the time out for the drip report. Listen, if you don't know now, you do know. Here, at we're all set. Every week, we do the drip report. Every episode, we talk about what's new in fashion and what's you know what I mean, what we got going on in Flea. And I'm actually really just gonna highlight the fact that we are up and running with the new merch. Like it's really fire. Like some of the shits I design is like really elite to me, and I will be like debuting it. I got one of the joints on the way. Like I said, we will be doing a limited time situation with certain hoodies the classic og hoodies that got this logo on the front the you know what i mean the og world set logo we're gonna have those available for you all the time but the one-on-one you know what i'm saying like yo they here for three weeks to get it while it's hot shit. i actually put thought and time into them joints so i'm gonna need y'all to consume fuck with your boy support you know what i mean because those are gonna be here today going tomorrow but they're gonna be fired because you're not gonna be seeing niggas with them. Yeah, you know I mean, niggas joints for two weeks or more. Like yeah, week and yeah, half two week, week type shit, bro. Like they're not gonna be up for long. So make sure y'all niggas tap in. Yeah, you know I mean, look out for that. Grab some more merch. Get some coffee mugs. Get some OG hoodies. Get some classic t-shirts. The summertime, we got the t-shirts for you. Whatever you need. So holla at us, yo. We're gonna pay some bills. We're gonna be right back. We got a, t- a lot more shit to talk about. Kel Mitchell is wildin'. Keep it <laughs> Kel. That's your cousin. Playoffs update. You know what I mean? Couple yeah. niggas dropped some music. We're gonna get into all of that. Holla at us. Uh Shit. All right. Yeah, we back. We back. Second half. You already know we kick off every second half with elite scumbaggery. If you don't know what that is, that's when somebody does some scumbag shit, but they pull it off in such an elite fashion. That we got to shout them out. This week's Elite Scumbags goes out. Big shout out to the niggas that robbed Onyx the other day. Hold it. Them niggas is lit. Super lit. They cut a hole in the roof of the strip club. Onyx out here in the A. Cut a hole in the roof and stole 250000 out the safe. First of all, I ain't going to lie. This might sound ignorant. Sometimes I be sitting back daydreaming like I'm due for one good heist. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you gotta get on. You gotta plan it out in your Animal Kingdom shit. Clearly, these niggas been watching Animal Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? They just came through the roof. This is my thing. I feel like it's inside though, cause like, how do y'all know? How did y'all know where the money was at? It's in the safe. But how did y'all know where the safe was at? I mean, it's in the man. It's in the office. The safe is always in the office. I don't know. It's like <laughs> Onyx thing got remodeled and shit. Like I don't know. I, I hear you. Like it seems like obvious, but like that was. Good. You have to know some information because how do you know when the safe is loaded? That's what I'm saying. So definitely somebody they knew somebody that they had some information. Now maybe it might it might not it might not have been a full blown inside job. Maybe they just had inside information somehow from strippers, freaky butts, motherfuckers. Just you know niggas talk, you know niggas get the drunk, get talking a little too much. You know what I'm saying? Nigga might have manager might have been somewhere popping his shit, talking. You know I mean, that's a good lick. Like strip yeah. club money is not marked. You know what I mean? It's in the wind. It's in the wind. It's the same reason why niggas rob dispensaries. Like, yo, it's, a, it's just breach in the wind. Like, uncounted for. Like, it'll never be seen again. Like, yes. it's a super lit. It's a super lit what? come 250? up. 250? Now, if it's anything more than four niggas, it's probably, tw- it's, it's not the craziest lick, but it's a little, still like. A little buck 25 for buck 25? Yeah, okay two, three niggas, that. like, yeah, I'm up. Like, I'm out of here. I'm going to turn that shit into mad. Other shit is, is, is up for life. It's up for life. Them niggas was in and out. Yeah. That's definitely some Animal Kingdom heat. Yeah, you know I me mean? type shit. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas wasn't playing at all. Shout yeah. to them. Least scumbags of the week, man. Yeah. Very elite. Very elite. High level scumbag of you for sure. Very, very elite. Oh, like I'm 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 a supporter of them niggas. Yeah, I ain't shout gonna out lie. to them niggas, dude. Yeah, so I'm not weekend though. You gonna pop out to any events? Like what you doing? Uh you yeah, I'm gonna slide through. I think I'm gonna slide through the night. I'm gonna go slide through the two thousand nine shit and um and um 
that other shit, that just a full blown uh, AUC shit that Wicked Wolf. Um, that's about it though. I'm not gonna make it a whole weekend out of it. Though. Oh, oh shit, that's not the next question. I was like, you gonna make it a weekend out of nah, it? Like it's just like oh, a thing. Nah, I might go to that day party Sunday, but I ain't got a whole. I'm not. I don't got a whole weekend out of this. Making a whole weekend out of this shit. I'm gonna go fuck around tonight. No, I think the day party be a good world set. Definitely pop out for for niggas yeah. to show face too. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of. Where are you as far as like? It's funny though when you when we see some of the like the women our age because it's like now it's like if you're not married is it over for them? I know we brought this up before. They're not but like, done, but the like I mean the sands in the hourglass is dwindling. Like it's like a couple sands left in the hourglass. Be, it's like, down to the last little granules, <laughs> granulates. Does nobody love you? <laughs> the fuck? Listen, I, listen. A lot of them like we're at the point where, like some of the people are at divorce. Like don't be fooled. Nah, divorce. Like I mean, hey, B. If you went down the road, if you, if you had a turn, they had a spin, then they work out, and you back here on your second go round. I mean, it is, it's life, B. I'm not even going. I can't hold that against you. But if you just never got a spin, nobody yeah. jacks you. Ever. No spin. I mean, one thing I say, like, I don't want to throw someone on the bus, but I feel like a lot of them get so ingratiated into their careers and then forget about like standard like woman upkeep like keeping your body right and that can play a factor yeah i mean almost to the point where like i was just talking to a lady about this like some woman you might even forget how to treat a nigga because you just so careered out which yeah. is great and i like i'm not promoting i'm not against that but like some of the traits of you know just being a mom and being a wife like yeah. some of those get fall into the wayside because it's so much school 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 you know what I mean? Go to work. You know what I mean? I, I got to support myself. Boss, babe, this and that. Yeah. Pro-life. I, I don't really need a nigga type shit. Like, so yeah. much of that energy going around. Like, we've lost the essence of, you know what I'm saying? Women know how to treat a nigga and, you know, keep it, keeping up with yourself. You know what I mean? Because, yeah. obviously, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But, you know, just basic body weight maintenance is still key and important. You know what yeah. I mean? Especially if you want to attract the... What would they say a high level nigga, high yeah. caliber. I need I need a certain level of vanity and self love out of you to where you're not. Gonna, I do too. Not not gonna let yourself go. You I know do what I'm too. saying? But like, other than the other than the, the the basics of vanity, I need like once you're too like you said too careered up, too boss babed out. It's like, but what about me though? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like and as I a man, we trying own, to. I need your time. Like I'm sorry. It, and like I try to tell women all the time, like unless you're doing like a super bum ass nigga, like. The boss babe shit, like, it's cool, and it's something to consider, like, you know, you know what, I ain't going to say that. But I, w I don't think that men value that shit as much as women think we do. You know nah, what I mean? we don't. I mean, I, res I, respect, I respect it. it. I, I respect, I respect it. it, but is it? And I but if, but if you it. can't, if you can't do it in a way where you're actually a boss and, like, you delegating and, like, you just on the phone for a little bit, like, if it's some, some shit where you just constantly always running around and constantly hands-on, and you don't really have time to really be at my joint. And yeah, I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you every, every once every two weeks. I'm barely getting dinner and all that. I'm about to start fucking bitches. Like it's quiet. Yeah, it's quiet, B. Like, like, I'm not doing that. Like I respect the boss babe shit, but like you said, like if you don't got time for me, I need a, like affection. I'm I'm on a hot plate. Yeah, you know I mean I'm on a fuck. Like yeah, listen, yeah. I don't need to see I understand, like you can't give a nigga twenty four seven because I can't I don't give want, nobody I don't that. want twenty four. I don't want twenty four seven. But, but I do want a little consistency. Yeah, if you can't give me, if you can't, if you're so work careered out, schooled out that you can't, that I, I, don't, I, I don't even get to feel like you put me first. Yeah, you know or what I'm saying. Me like, as a, any type of priority, like top three, me. Yeah, you know what I mean, you know like what at least saying? that. At least like, top three, me. If if you're not eager to, if you're not eager to to pull up and with the woo because you're busy with, yeah, I just can't. There's nothing wrong with being career like being a career person and working at that and do, doing what you do. But a woman that makes that shit her top priority over, and I get it, a lot of that shit for them be like a motherfucking um, trauma response, defense mechanism from getting violated and dubbed by niggas, you know what I'm saying? And I get it, but I'm sorry, man, you're gonna have to keep putting your heart in the blender because you're not gonna give me the, the half ass trauma response vibe and fucking be working all day and think I'm gonna be like loving you, like it's a dub. Man. Yeah, nah, facts. <laughs> like, facts be like, I'm all for career oriented, but like leave that shit at the career. Like I don't really want to hear about it every day. Like don't bring that shit home. Like I still need you to know how to be a wife yeah. and a mother first. And I value that more than anything over your career yeah. to the point where I'm like, I can see, I'm at the point where I just feel like I should have enough breach and like, I don't need my wife to necessarily have to work. Like I'm okay with her. Like 
making sure she's going to Pilates, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, working out and just making sure the household is straight, shit is arranged, shit is cooked, shit is paid for. Like, like I'm or her helping me manage I, my business. Yeah, I, honestly, I mean? like, yeah, like, all right, not necessarily even her ma- helping me manage my business, but like, I like I'm focused on having Brees to the point where like my wife isn't working a job. My wife is whatever she's built. She if she she choosing to build something because she wants to. And that's like some career shit that she's building. You know what I'm saying? It's not like some she just working for some nigga mm-hmm. doing some shit. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. she has to. Because we got to keep a roof over our head. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a dub. Like you know what I'm saying? Like like you said, big Pilates and big Mackin. But I want to. I want. But me personally, I need a drink with her own drive. Like like I can't. I, I'm not comfortable with having a drink that's just like like happy at home with the kids. Like I need you to want to do something with for yourself too. Like even if you're working from home, even if it's a career that you're doing from home. You know what I'm saying? Like I need you to want to have your own. Have your own something. Well, I mean, what the if ambition. You're, okay, yeah, but I mean, having kids that shit is a twenty. That's a twenty four hour job. <laughs> yeah, be yeah, I'm keep it a buck. Yeah, I'm I saying. mean, I don't care. All right, but you saying like if you got enough breach, like are you gonna be mad if she's just like so? Are you okay with a housewife or are you not? Um, nah. I mean, to a degree, it's like I'm, I'm cool with a housewife that has a, her own career from home. Okay, like a work from home joint. Yeah, like you got a career from home that's not really like a a, a, st- a super. You got to go be there all the time type joint, and you could make your own hours and you make the make it shake and do what it do. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I respect that, and that's more, more so what I prefer. You know what I mean? Because I'm more like an entrepreneur nigga. I prefer an entrepreneurial joint per se. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I feel, I'm more like yo. We should be running it up like a fucking. We could pay somebody to watch the kids. Be like, I don't need you in the house twenty four seven watching the kids either. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Nah, I feel you. I feel you. It's like it's like it's this fine line. It's like you want her to be oriented about her own shit because you just want her to be ambitious, but also put me first though. <laughs> like, you <laughs> feel me? It's crazy. I think it says have your career, but make sure I'm first. Yeah, <laughs> like I need. A, I really need a combo. Ain't no room with a combo pack. Yeah, cause I don't. Cause I, when a joint has no, no, nothing of her own, no ambition of her own, and her life is just you, that shit gets annoying. Yeah, she's just constantly thinking about you twenty four seven, bro. That shit gets overbearing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want that either. Yeah. Nah, I feel you. I, yeah, I, I feel, yeah, I'm okay with like a calm work from home situation. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, you can stack your bread. Yeah, but do that. I want you to be like, yo, I gotta fucking be in the office from nine to blah, 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 blah. Nah, I don't really want to, I don't want that. I don't want a bitch that, that got to go that do, all, do that. all that extra shit. Yeah, nah, yeah. I feel you on that. Good Just man. some calm shit. Speaking of kooky marriages, your cousin Kel Mitchell from uh, Keenan and Kel fame and all that, a.k.a. I Love Orange Soda, was on Club Shay Shay, the Shannon Sharp show, and he came out and said his wife cheated on him not once but twice and got pregnant by another nigga and he stayed. Freaky ass nigga. We we'll do like a two second moment of silence for Kel's marriage. He's a freaky ass nigga, man. I ain't even know Kel. No moment of silence for that nigga. <laughs> Anytime, yo, bro. If if a nigga tell you some shit like, yo, I had I got a wife and she and I found and she got blamed. I found out her my the seed is not mine and but I I I, I held it down. That nigga sus, bro. Freaky nigga does weird freaky sex shit. There's no fucking way any nigga that's not that's normal heterosexually, man, that's not doing freaky weird shit, wife has a baby on them, they first baby. Not like they had a, you know what I'm saying, the first baby. And he stay there, hold it down? Come on, son. I'm really cutting off communication with everybody. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what age it is. Some niggas be like, yo, I was already eight, nine years in. Give a fuck that little nigga. Yeah, fuck that. Like, sorry, bro. I can see if you had... A couple kids with her before that, and one of the kids he got shaky because she's a whore. Now it's like yo, I'm kind of stuck. But yo, the very first scene, and you stuck by is wild and crazy. You dead. are a creepy, freaky weirdo nigga. You knew she had nothing but dirt on you or something like. AKA I, oh. a cuck. Yeah, all that <laughs> cuck, AKA bed, cuck. freaky, creepy nigga. But then the wife came out and said that she caught <laughs> Kelly in bed with Nick Cannon in the cheerleader outfit. Jesus, Louise, Jesus, Jesus. This is see, I ain't gonna lie. That'd be the shit that'd be like, yo, is this just a scorn, a scorn broad? Like just throwing cause a chili the outfit, shit at the bro. <laughs> chili the outfit, bro. Like some Hollywood sex coat shit. <laughs> that's where that's where I feel like she took it. Chili the outfit, bro. Come on, my nigga. That is what? Chili the outfit, bro. Nasty work, bro. Nasty work, me. 
I I mean, Cal, for, even if you admitting that, like I definitely, that, he's, he's different. definitely funny in the light. How you know like I mean? how bad? Like he must be fucking broke right now. How much? How much better Shay Shay? She was trying to say, oh my god, maybe like ten. Like how know. much better Shay Shay giving niggas to drop in a dirty laundry, bro? Cause this I don't know because it's getting ridiculous. They, like it's gotten to the. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm really not jacking what Uncle Shay Shay's uh, platform has diminished to. It's really just a lot of nasty gossip and or dirty laundry airing and just like niggas just whatever. But could you be mad at Shay Shay or is that that just a reflection of the climate we're in? People like that gossip. Airing. I mean, the shit. You see, every time he drops some gossipy shit, it go viral. Nah, you know what I mean? not necessarily. I mean, he. I feel like. The, the Cat Williams shit went viral for why it went viral for, and then he tried to, he going out his way to try to recreate messy, messy, nasty viral moments. Like, before before the Cat Williams situation, I don't think his show was basically about that, but I guess it kind of was a little bit, but I don't know, man. I mean, it was more so, like, pulling the wall back, letting niggas speak their truth, you know what I mean? Even before that, because I had watched a couple episodes, and, like, I was like, all right, like, niggas was basically, you know what I mean? It's like, you sitting and chopping it up with the homie type shit. Yeah. But, um... As far as like, yeah, I don't know what he paid niggas because I would hope the check would be a lot. Nick couldn't pay me to come out and say, "Yo, my my, my wife girl getting blamed and I kept the kids and I kept it." Like, I stuck around for that nut shit. Like, it's impossible. Like, that's that. We just gonna keep that shit in the chest. If you find out about it, you was to find out about it. But right. you win because I wouldn't stay anyway. Like, it would be clip after the first one. Like, listen, I, any nigga can get cheated on. It's what you, how you react to the cheating. Like, fact. You know what I mean, like, if you. You just gotta go chin up and step off. Like, don't find a way for forgiveness. Like, we're not doing that. Like, it's quiet, bro. Don't try to attack the nigga because your girl is a whore. Nah, definitely don't. Yeah, you know I mean, like, just take the L in peace and step off. So let me let me ask you this: How do you play about? How do you play about pre pre uh, relationship whole shit? Say say she was all right. Say you got it. Say you got a girl now. She you were talking to her for however long before y'all made it official. And while she, while she, while before y'all made it official, while she was talking to you, she let another nigga beat, and you find out. Oh yeah, I can't cuff you. I but you already you. in the relationship. Yeah, I'm. Are a you full dubbing back. her? Yeah, I'm dubbing. You dubbing her? Yeah. Because, because she, she, she got you. She got into relationship under false pretenses. Yeah, I'm dubbing you. And you know what? I'll dub you, and I still might knock you down, but but still, I can't respect it the yeah. same. Yeah, I can't I'm not you the same. Yeah, because once I know, once I know that you're willing to take it there, even though, even though I, even though years before we were together, you sold me a dream, and the only reason why you earned my trust and got me to be with you was because it was based off a of false was based sentence. off of, was based off a of, of, of false setup. You know what I mean? Yeah. So nah. I got to keep it rolling. Yeah, I'm stepping. Yeah, like I'll probably still knock you down here and there, but that's gonna be that's we gonna be, be the cool, extent. Like, you know cool, like cool, but I ain't going no more extra shit. Like you blew it. Like you got one time to do some bullshit, and I'm like, like, all right, you got it, you got yeah. me. It's le- it's levels. Like, I, like if I might, if I might say, I, yo, if you, if I caught you like texting a nigga, I might, might like, oh fuck it, if it was before me, well, I might not, I might let it ride. But like, once you get your shit clapped, like, oh, it's over, man. And you still doing the wild shit? It's like, all right, you got a lot going on, sis. Like, I'm good. You're yeah. not doing that. Like, I'm not promoting that. I'm not co-signing that. But again, like I said, I'll probably be cool with you. But that's what you know what I'm saying. Like, I ain't doing no extra shit, be for real. Shit crazy, man. Should we get some playoff updates? Yofties. Yofties. A lot of niggas has been back home since we updated. Uh, Cleveland packed up. Donovan Mitchell say he's sick of niggas. Niggas is immature. He's clearly going to be out of there next season. It's either him or Garland. Like, them niggas don't work good together. We tried that experiment. It's like the trade DeAndre Hunter experiment. Yeah. Two ball dominant niggas is a dub. Not in today's NBA. Like, you need niggas that know how to, like, get the ball off and set shit up. Like, if you're going to have a... a Ball Donovan nigga like Anthony Edwards, you need a Mike Conley, a nigga that don't need to get his shots up to the me and yeah. rhythm. You yeah. know what I mean? So they got packed up. I mean, honestly, the Celtics got a cakewalk to the finals. Like if they don't make it to the finals, it's, it's a disappointment. Whoa, cakewalk? Yeah. Cakewalk is crazy. Yeah, the Knicks are depleted, bro. No end and no be. No I mean I mean the Knicks gotta win tonight, I'm assuming. Let's start there. They still gotta get through the paces. Pacers got the worst defense of any playoff team. So if they see the Pacers, that should be light. Yeah. And if they see the Knicks, they just got mad injuries, bro. Like, the Knicks play tough. They play out of their mind. But I don't know how long they're going to be able to keep up that 40 minutes a night shit. And like I said, they missing, like, a key defensive style playing Ananobi, and they missing Mitch. He how random. long is Ananobi supposed to be out? I mean, they saying he's doing light on taking jump shots. So he might could be back by next series. You know what I mean? But. I don't know how what's it gonna look like. I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't call it a cakewalk, man. New York plays way too hard. It's never a cakewalk against New York, B. 
And none of them niggas can guard Brunson. They're going to put J. Rule on him, I guess. J. J. Brunson too quick for J. Rule. Yeah, I mean, that's one nigga, though, B. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like if they had Inanobi, I would give them more of a shot. Because he could, I feel like he can make it hard I mean, on Boston Tatum. would clearly be the favorite, but the cakewalk? Yeah. I was saying, like, they might pack them niggas up in, like, five. Yeah. Like, five. Um, on the other side, Jokic and Ant Edwards, game seven. Who you like? That's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, My heart says Ant-Man. My head says Joker. That's where I'm at. My heart, I want Ant-Man to win. If I was the better man, I'd probably put it on uh, Denver. Just because they're at home and they're the defending champs. Even though Jamal Dury, Murray's been dirt all series. Yo, they done had his heart. It. They done had his heart. He ain't doing shit out he there. He been dude. trashed. Uh, yeah, me and uh, Michael Porter Jr. have been like fake missing in action. Like he's can't miss against the Lakers and everybody else is shit be sus. Super shaky. And then, you know, they still don't got no bench. I mean, know? and all that shit, all that, and then Joker's still going to carry. Yeah. Yeah, Joker's gonna carry. That nigga's different, bro. I'm not gonna lie, he's different. So you don't get a Timberwolves no shot. If you whoa, really give him percentage, whoa, I'm not gonna say no shot. Okay. Bro. I mean, they beat him at home already. Are you? Where, so where are you at? 60, 40, 70, 30. I say, I say, no. It's, it's, I say about. I'll give the Nuggets about fifty five. It's about 55, 55, 45. 55, 45. It's not. It's not no lopsided joint. They Minnesota already beat him in Denver twice. Twice. So they know they can do it. It's not lopsided at all. Yeah, I agree. I say a 64. Minnesota can win, but I just like Denver championship medal. Joker just like really volleying niggas when it matters. They gotta stick to leave Cat on him. Like clearly he bothers him a little bit more. Let Rudy roam the paint. Rudy, I don't understand. I don't even understand who thought of like for one, I ain't gonna lie. I I'll say this though. Chris Finch is getting out coach. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Cause the fact that you even left Rudy one on one with Joker, like Rudy has never when him Rudy's become a one on one lockdown nigga. He's a <laughs> Roman. Let that nigga roam the paint. I like the, the adjustment for they was doing it in game one. They had Cat on him more. And then they just went back to the other shit and let they Rudy got get off the, off the oh defensive player award. Yeah. Let's put the defensive player yeah, on him. Let's, oh. let's, yeah. Like, come no, on, my bro. nigga. Cut this shit, bro. No, we know bro. who we been we know who Rudy is. Stop. And then they super spanked him the game Rudy ain't play. You know what I mean? Like so Whatever exactly. strategy that was, let's go back to that. Let's go you back to mean? that. You know what I mean? Obviously, when they didn't have Conley in game five and Anthony had to, like, facilitate and pick his spots when the score was probably hard for him. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so not Conley his game. Was key. That's not his game at all. I mean, that was Phoenix's problem. Like, you got Denver, Devin Booker trying to play point, get niggas involved, but it was like he just really want to come off the screen and give you 30. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it, it, but you got to – and then for a nigga that get buckets – it's mad harder to get buckets coming down top of the key. Whole defense is looking at me like, you know what I'm saying? It's mad harder to get buckets that way. That nigga much rather come off the screen and come around the wing and pull it. You know what I mean? Like, it's way Catching other ways to space, get the ball. Catch me yeah, in emotion and all, all type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, like you said, now when I'm just bringing the shit yeah. up, everybody's keyed on me. Especially when you're used to doing it the other way than, oh, big playoff game out of nowhere. I just got to be the main focal point. Bring the ball up, ass nigga. That shit ain't going to work. Nah, that's a fact. Finally had a decent Luca sighting last game. Oh my finally god! Finally fucking he showed up. Baked, Jesus Christ! He baked, baked the fillet of them niggas though. He, yes. Um, shutting them niggas. Oh, let's too. stand up. Luca been banged up, bro. You can see it. Like he, been, he banged up. Bro? He was banged up, bro. You can see it. He was banged up, bro. He keep Leg having the hurt same, all that. The same up, bro. fucking blood spot. On, blood on the spot, side. bro. You <laughs> see it? I haven't seen the same blood spot for three games. Nah, Is he not changing the side? Nah, I seen it on multiple blood. games, bro. It's new Is blood. He, oh, it's new blood every it's game. It's new blood every game. They. He, he looked Luka real spry hard. last game, bro. Yeah, he, he recovering from his injuries, nigga. Yo, and when I watch Luca, he funny. Like, when shit going good, it looked like it's regular. When that shit going, oh, it's my knee, it's my back. Like, nigga, nigga's he hurt. Injured. All right, he show up. Kyrie's on some facilitating Kyrie Rondo shit. He said he's kind of, like, preserving himself. Like, he's still going to give niggas 40 when needed. I'm not mad at the way he's playing. But it's the fact that he's just been fucking up my overs on the parlay. He kind of just be like, yo, if Luka's on fire, if PJ's hitting, like, I'm chilling. Like, I'm chilling, he kinda, yeah. he, I'm just play defense and facilitate. And facilitate. Like, I don't he, have to do too he much. Like, yo, I, he like, yo, I, I only really worry about scoring when everybody's off. That's really how he giving it up, it seemed like. And they, like, blitzing them Paul. Like, I, like as soon as he touched the ball, they on his head, and they trying to go Dorch, Lou, Lou Dort's head up against Luka, and that didn't work out last game. Nah, they, they out he of their mind. He, he tortured them. SGA been solid, though. 30, he going to give you a 36-6. 
How, how you slice it? Okay, see, offense getting exposed, though. Yeah, hell yeah. They really like, just like really one-on-one shaky. niggas. This is yeah. Shia and Jay Williams, one-on-one. Shet need a little ball. bit more years on this, but he, he, he's been looking lost out there sometimes. He's getting a couple blocks, but he's clearly for real. You know what I mean? He still got to get some weight up. You know what he's what a mean? baby. They're, they're all babies. You know what I mean? Besides SGA. I didn't realize SGA is older than Luca. Quiet as kept. Yeah, SGA, SGA <laughs> came in the league older. He's been in the league like seven years now. Yeah, yeah. He just, it took him a little while to blossom. You know what I mean? It is what it is. But uh, yeah, I like Dallas tomorrow. And we'll see. We'll see how this shit play out. We're going to update it again. I mean, in a few. Yeah, man. Week. I mean, at right now, man, I ain't going to lie, bro. I'm still look out to the chip. Yeah, I like that. I'm look out to the chip, man. I mean, I think Ant Man could do it too, though. I think Luke, Luke, I, I think the Mavs match up better with Minnesota, to be honest. I think, but I think Luca could get it done, whoever they see. Because this is not the same Denver team. It's like they I'm about to say, I feel like they'd much rather see Denver than Minnesota. You think so? Yeah, bro. I mean, Denver got, I mean, Denver, Denver they got some advantages against Denver. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think they're more athletic than Denver. Shit like that. If they play Minnesota, they're not more athletic than Minnesota. They're not more anything than Minnesota. Well, who's going to guard Luca? Put Ant Man on Luca. Put that Jaden McDaniel. Jaden what's Jaden McDaniel's on Luca. Oh, they got I mad. See. I gotta see what that look like. They got a lot of like they do got niggas. You can tall, throw out, wiry, tall, wiry, athletic niggas, niggas bro. Yeah. You fucking, I put Nas Reed on Luca if you wanted to. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they got a lot of niggas, bro. They got that's one thing Minnesota got is bodies, like young athletic niggas that could play defense and all that extra shit. They you know, that. I guess when I, like you said, when I think about just seeing a Nuggets, I just I'm scared of Joker. Yeah, yeah, that's be yeah, honest. V. That's, that's, <laughs> like, that's, about that's it. really where I'm at with it. Cause you don't want to like, who's gonna guard him? Lively, Gabbard? No, yeah. Gaffer? No, Jesus them niggas gonna get abused, abusive. Uh, you thought the Rudy Gobert oh, shit was my nasty? God. Like, wow, what? Like them niggas like, it's just like his and his shots are so high percentage when he decides like, you know, what? I'm just gonna go to the paint. And yeah. man, you, you niggas too little. Nothing like, you could do. Like Anthony, Ant Man, like if he 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 on fire, he on fire. Like he hitting a three, go by a dunk on a nigga. But like his shit still be awesome sometimes. Like you keep yeah. him on the perimeter. Like all right, let that nigga shoot. He's not a great three pointer. But like when Joker firing all all cylinders, it's like it ain't too much you could do with that yeah, nigga. Be. Do, be like just physically, he's just bigger than niggas. That's bigger why it's like you gotta it. have. A, and now he kind of he got a quick, touch around the rim. He's shifty and shit. He's now. Fake shifty. I mean. And then don't let him start hitting his three point shot. Then you really drill. You it's know what I mean? You be like, oh, I'm sick of this nigga. So over. that's the only reason why I say like, I'd rather see Minnesota only because of Joker. Like I like looking at the team makeup. Yeah, like Minnesota could probably defend them better, but it's just the Joker nigga. Be like, I can't even front on the nigga. Joker, He's serious. Be <laughs> like, it's Super just hard serious. to do with that nigga, bro. Like, Super serious. it ain't too much answers for him. Be like, when he decided to get on his bullshit. Man, he's different. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, we get into our favorite set. Yeah, I, I can't up. wait. Listen, let me start it up. Yo, listen here, we're all set. We got a um segment. This our namesake called "We're All Set." We basically let you know what we're not feeling, what we're not jacking, what we want to change. And this week, I am all set on the WNBA oh, and, how they're, and how they're handling Caitlin Clark and Andrew Reese. Number one, I saw some shit. First of all, why the fuck do y'all got if? Y'all got Caitlin Clark a once in a lifetime. Y'all got y'all Tiger Woods. Why y'all having her go up against the hardest niggas? Now, granted, I know people like a schedule been out, but like NFL and all that, them niggas can flex schedules. Y'all know Caitlin Clark is gonna be the number one pick. Like, give her some easy niggas to go in so she can shine more. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if Caitlin Clark fizzles out and she's not nice and she's just doing like eight, five, and three with the, with wild turnovers and it just doesn't pan out, that's not good for anybody. Like. Y'all niggas, Brianna Stewart was just still drip because Kayla Clark went charter flight, first nigga to get charter flights, shout to her. And then, like, still, like, two other teams had to take buses. So if y'all want the full overhaul of everybody to be on them charter flights, y'all better hope Kayla Clark is doing what the fuck she need to do. Like, maybe y'all niggas need to stop deep, deep guard her so hard. I don't know. I ain't going to say that. But seriously, then I don't like how they handle Andrew Reese. Her press conference, her introductory press conference was like it was in a high school. It was like folded chairs. Like they didn't have everything. The shit just looked wild, low budget. Then the preseason game wasn't streamed anywhere. Like somebody was streaming the shit off her phone. Shit got like <laughs> 300,000 views. You know what I mean? Like y'all got to have these shit got to be marquee. You know what I mean? Yeah. Y'all, like y'all, those are the, Angel Reese and Kayla Clark are the two most popular people. Like we're going to say that. Maybe you could throw in Brianna or Asia Simpson. But yeah. right now, like, y'all got to capitalize off of them and highlight them and make sure like, 
Yeah, you know I mean, it's niggas are seeing that because they the product. They gonna take y'all niggas. They gonna really either elevate y'all or it's gonna fall right back flat on his face. So oh God. work on the scheduling, and uh, yeah, let's just you know what I'm saying make sure certain shit is nationally televised. I shouldn't have to like search and seek to find like the stars of y'all league. The Angel Reese should be televised and Caitlin Clark should be televised. Lotto came and said she only hate, came to see Angel Reese. Like she has black women support, and Caitlin Clark got white America. So make it easy to watch them. You know what I mean, don't fuck this up. Don't fuck it up. Um, I'm all set on that freaky nigga from that reality show. What's his name? Clay or Clay, whatever his name is. Clay something. He was yeah. with um freaky from nigga. Love is blind. Yeah, that Love is blind. The freaky nigga. He back. He backed out Selena Powell late recently on the on the on the internet and like enough is, enough is enough enough dude. is enough backing out selena powell live action is crazy wild and crazy super kids. crazy he's just a nasty work nigga i had no idea he was stupid stupid like i already knew he was, all right just to be a reality tv show nigga, you got to be like a, a certain level of scumbag because you like dying <laughs> for fame right you want your yeah. 15 minutes but the but the lengths that he's going down to extend his shit is absolutely disgusting i'm all set on that nigga. pack him the fuck up no more him I don't want him seeing him on no more blogs. Like once you start backing out Selena Powell, no more you be. Pack like, you the what fuck are you up. Doing, bro? Done for you. No more. We're you're not wild. doing that. You're bugging. We're not laying up with Trish like that. Not and taking footage. That's madness, bro. Yeah, nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. But yeah, being that's the episode, man. Check it check us out. We back next week. Whatever, whatever. All set pod dot store. store. Make sure Grab you a tapping. fucking mug, you are. You know what I mean? Mug, hoodie, all of the above, man. Holla at us. Holla at us. You're ready.